Hey guys, this is Kenzo. I am an English speaking tour guide based in Kyoto, Japan. Today, I'm gonna introduce Kyoto's three best Japanese gardens. Among so many great gardens in Kyoto, the ones I chose are all less crowded, having a spacious ground so you can relax and stay longer, and not too far from the city center. Sounds perfect, right? All of them are located in the traditional Buddhist temples and have several hundred years old histories. I'm going to introduce from the third best one and then to the second best and save the very best one for the last. So I hope you enjoy watching until the last. Number three. The garden at Saihoji Temple. Also known as Moss Temple, Saihoji has the most famous moss garden in Japan. And the temple is listed as one of the World Heritage Sites of Kyoto. The garden was created by the famous Buddhist monk Muso Soseki more than 600 years ago. His gardening was so excellent that even the shoguns, the head of the military government, came to learn the garden design, and they later created the famous gardens at Kinkakuji and Ginkakuji Temple. The interesting fact is that the garden at Saihoji Temple was originally just a pond garden and there was no moss. However, 300 years later, the garden was hit by the flood several times and got completely soaking wet. Maybe now you get it. Yes, after the floodings, Beautiful moss grew naturally and covered the entire garden. Today, there are more than 100 kinds of moss growing in this garden. The best season to visit is June, which is the rainy season in Japan. To protect fragile moss, however, the temple accepts only a limited number of visitors every day. So to see the garden, you have to make a reservation by sending a letter. Yes, sending a letter, not by email or telephone call. Very traditional, isn't it? But because of this complicating reservation system, you won't be bothered by large number of tourists and you'll be able to immerse yourself in the moss wonderland. Okay, here comes the second best garden. It is a garden at Enkoji Temple in Northern Kyoto. Same as the Moss Temple, Enkoji has fewer visitors compared to other famous temples and shrines in Kyoto. And it's not complicating to visit at all. You just get to the entrance and pay an admission fee of 500 yen. That's all. Simple is the best. And what you can get is so much more than 500 yen. The temple offers an amazing dry garden first, and then a moss garden, a small bamboo forest, and even a great view at the top.
very zen, isn't it? My favorite is the cherry blossom season in early April. So now it's time to reveal the number one garden in Kyoto. Thank you for your patience. The place I chose is Sampo in Garden at Daigoji Temple. This is a perfect garden in terms of beauty, easy access, and level of quietness. This place has everything that Kyoto visitors may want to see at the gardens. I want to say thank you very much for Toyotomi Hideyoshi who created this beautiful garden 400 years ago, as well as the temple monks who took over the garden maintenance afterward. I particularly like this design. It's a mixture of dry, moss, and pond gardens. I guess the powerful Toyotomi Hideyoshi wanted to show his authority to the guests by incorporating all three garden designs. The temple also has the oldest wooden structure in Kyoto, the five-story pagoda that was constructed more than 1,000 years ago. There is a picturesque shrine over the pond as well, so please don't miss them. The temple and the garden are just gorgeous in all seasons. And you can get there by subway and just buy tickets at the entrance. It's simple and easy. So that was Kenzo's choice of the three best gardens in Kyoto. Number three is the Moss Garden at Saikoji Temple. Number two is Enkoji Temple's Gardens. And number one is the garden at Daigoji Temple. Kyoto has so many great gardens, so it was tough to choose only three of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can find more information about those gardens in the description area down below. If you want to know more about Japanese gardens, please check my other videos too. If my YouTube channel helps you a trip to Japan, that'd be fantastic. Thanks for watching and see you soon.